and I always see an Emrakul on Rudy's side. Oh, perfect. The Black White Angel deck has that too? Yeah, it looks like Rudy has an Emrakul on his sideboard. So uh, Rudy does have an Emrakul on the battlefield. Uh, but it looks like, it Dor looks like Dorian it is, is taking his turn though. So there is a Declaration in Stone is going to take care of it. Oh, I guess it wasn't just cast then. And that is a flavor win to uh, be able to get a clue from getting rid of Emrakul. <laughs> yeah. So it seems like uh, we're at a board state that's kind of at parity. Both cards have a fair amount of cards in hand. Neither of them seem to have a clear advantage on the board, although both have some tools to work with. All right, so here's a Kalidus for Rudy and a Liliana the Last Hope. And Liliana is great on, on going, it's going against to, the green-white token stack. It's going to kill a Thopter token. And Dorian was tapped out, so he was not able to utilize that evolutionary leap. Mm -hmm. So we have a 3-3 three, three Angel from uh, Linvala is getting into the battlefield. One thing that Dorian would really like to do is find a way to add a power onto that Den Protector so that it can snipe the Liliana. That would be quite nice. Liliana is also just extremely powerful in decks like this that have uh, lots of creatures would come into the ent that enter the battlefield abilities. Right, yeah, like I can see a Linvala in the graveyard. That would be a great thing to get back. And we can see both of these players playing at Kind of a fast pace. Yeah, so Den Protector is going to have a well-stocked graveyard. It's just going to get back a Declaration in Stone. It's going to give Rudy a second clue, get rid of the Kalidus. And now, four points of damage can come across and kill Lil Liliana. Yep. Oh! Who Anguished on making That's is going to hit the Stasis Snare. It's going to get come back in. Valley's Lancers is going to enter the battlefield. That's going to let Rudy search for a legendary permanent. Yeah, and just gobble up that Den Protector. It's like, it's like we're just going to get a transform card that's likely an Archangel Abyssin. That's what I would guess. Oh, it, it also could be uh, Bruna. Bruna's Bruna or Gisela, one, oh, of, the, one yeah. of the meld cards. Actually, Bruna would probably be the best hit. Cast Bruna, get your Linvala back. Yeah. Although, on this board, Linvala would just be a 5-5, so maybe that wouldn't actually be that great. I mean, I'll take a 5-7 and a 5-5 flyer. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, there's a big old Sylvan Advocate for Dorian. Going to pass the turn back to Rudy. Let's see what Rudy casts. Oh, he's just going to cash in a clue. Cash, has literally in infinite clue. mana. Yeah, lots of lands. That anguish on making was huge. Yeah. And Rudy could have used that Anguish on making on the Evolutionary Leap, uh, but instead of using it on the Stasis Snare, um, it's a pretty interesting decision. Both, both plays have their pros and cons. Um, All right, so Rudy's going to plus the Liliana on the Thopter token. Let's see if he attacks. He's just going to cast another Thalius Lancers. Is, is he going to get Gisela here? I think he has enough mana to cast them both on the same turn. Gisela and Bruno. He's just going to get a Kalidus this time. Pass the turn back to Dorian. These Salius Lancers are a pretty big deal, too. The, you know, the multiple first strikers can start to create a wall that is just unpassable on the ground. Yeah. I'm going to pass the turn back to Dorian. Dorian has a Nyssa, Vastwood Ooh, that's Sierra, really which is going to let him go get a forest. He is going to be able to transform that Nyssa, though. Immediately. A, he can tick it up so that it doesn't die to the, uh, the angel. angel token. The 4-4 four, four, uh, that it can make from the minus isn't particularly valuable, given Rudy has two 4-4 four, four first strikers. And Dorian certainly just wants more action. All right, well, the plus one on Nissa is going to get a fortified village and put it into the battlefield. Dorian does have a handful of cards, so it looks like there's at least one more copy of Evolutionary Leap there. Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff, but it doesn't seem like... There's a News Constrictor. Yeah. I wonder who Great played card. that. <laughs> uh, 
It seems like he's got a lot of cards, but none of them are really the right cards. He really wants something like Athalia, um, or not Athalia, an Avacyn, uh, because that would be able to give him control of the air. Or a Linvala would also be quite nice. And well, Rudy has a a Kalidus now. Oh, we're going to attack Nissa with an Angel. He picked up a copy of Grasp of Darkness, so let's see what Dorian decides to do here with those News Constrictors. I think blocking with the News Constrictor and then just discarding a land is kind of free. Um, especially because he has the Evolutionary Elite available. But yeah, basically Dorian, he, you know, he's got a lot of cards, but none of them are the right cards. What he really wants... Ooh. I don't oh. like discarding two cards there. He's going to pitch two cards, and Rudy is going to respond with a grasp, and darkne grasp of Darkness. And it looks like Dorian chose not to activate Evolutionary Leap there. Yeah. Well, I don't, Dorian hasn't activated Leap yet, and that Liliana has picked off a couple tokens, um, as well as the Lancers was able to ambush. Most of the time he's been using all of his mana, but that seemed like an okay spot to use his Leap. Kalidus is going to get a Zombie. And Rudy does still have that transform card in hand. It looks like it's a Gisela. Mm. I wonder if maybe the Bruna is already in the graveyard. Well, if it is, Liliana can get it back. Yeah, this is a good time for Dorian to find an Avacyn. Um, maybe try to flip it with the Evolutionary Leap. Well, there's another news constrictor. And if I were Dorian, I, I would just sack the news constrictor, constrictor and dig for, for Avacyn. Well, it does give Rudy uh, more zombies. We have to keep that in mind. Well, if you're going to flip the Avacyn, who cares, you know? Yeah. Well, actually, with the amount of mana that Rudy has, he'll just sack all the zombies to make his Cletus huge. All right, so here we have the team is coming. I assume it's all going at Dorian. And this is where Kalidus gets a little tricky because, you know, if you block the zombies, then he sacks it them to the Kalidus. And if you block the Kalidus, sacks the zombies to the Kalidus. <laughs> <laughs> Both are bad. Yeah. So we've got confirmation everything is going at Dorian. Mm -hmm. We're just going to forsake Nyssa for now. And I think Rudy believes, well, because he's attacking Dorian, it leads me to think that Rudy thinks that he has enough resources where he can just shove and win. And this is not going to be able to, you know, battle, battle Dorian back into the game. Well, it looks like the card that Rudy has in hand is Grasp of Darkness. So he will be able to use that to make combat pretty bad for Dorian, depending on how he attacks. Worst case scenario, even if Dorian's able to kill off one of Rudy's creatures. You can just get, get it back with Liliana minus two. Yeah. All right, so Dorian's going to put News Constrictor, Den Protector on the Kalidus. Looks like we have News Constrictor is going to go on one of the Thalia's Lancers. And Sylvan Advocate is going to go on to a zombie. So zombie is going to get sacrificed to Kalidus. And now this uh, Kalidus is just going to kill both those creatures in combat. Uh... Dorian is choosing not to activate his Evolutionary Leap, and it seems like he's just really far behind in this game. He does have access to Tragic Arrogance in his deck, although it's unlikely he kept it in post-board. That would be the one thing that I think could really save him in this position. Uh, but as things stand, it looks like Rudy's probably going to be able to win this game on the following attack. He's going to knock Dorian down to six, go up to 23 himself. He should be getting three zombies there from Kalidus. The Grasp is going to take care of the Advocate, along with the Liliana Plus. It's going to give him another zombie, and Dorian just hasn't used his Evolutionary Leap at all. Yeah. Oath of Nyssa is going to find That's him. That's a little awkward. <laughs> the a second Nyssa doesn't do a whole lot. But he can't play, and... Rudy Brixa is going to take that match. 
two games to one over Dorian Finn. Black White Angel control over Green White tokens. As we came in, we were watching an Emrakul get hit by Declaration in Stone. Man, I wish we could have came in a couple minutes earlier to see what that Emrakul had done.